Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this series of videos where I decided to paint every day and to upload a tutorial for you every day. So for today it's actually nine o'clock in the morning now and I'm still well still sipping my coffee <laughs> and well I was thinking today we could do some fun painting and this is actually my reference photo I'm not sure if you can see it just a second I will yeah do my brightness up a bit and this is the reference photo and since I've noticed a lot of you were asking to do another tutorial with salt I decided to do this one and we will be using salt so I have it here prepared so prepare yourself some salt and well I I, of course, uh, I want to do what, what you like and well, you wanted another idea with salt. So, 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 so we're going to use salt. And I was thinking I'm going to use from Kotman. This is a lizard in crimson hue and from White Knights. This is neutral black and maybe I will be using a Naples yellow. I have my palette here also. I'm not going to use all those colors. Maybe just that Naples yellow and maybe 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 some sepia will creep in here you know because you know how much i love sepia so it's just some, somehow it always creeps into my paintings and those are the supplies you're gonna need the colors and well if you don't have this alizarin crimson hue maybe you don't probably you don't this one is well this is some dark i would say uh, dark red so you can mix in your red with maybe some brown to get that a little bit darker a little bit darker red and neutral black well if you don't have neutral black just use any black you have and also with the yellow naples yellow if you don't have the naples yellow you can use any a little bit darker yellow this is maybe just some yellow ochre could also do here and or any a little bit darker a little bit darker yellow you can maybe again add a little bit more of that brownish color to your if you have vibrant yellow just to well just to make it a little bit darker and those are the colors I'm also gonna use this Fontaine Claire Fontaine watercolor paper it's 300 GSM and uh, 18 by 24 centimeters or 7 by 9 and a half inches so that those are the supplies i will also try to use as large as possible brush uh, so as i said earlier i i am trying to make my paintings a little bit looser so i find that when i use a larger brush i do have the looser paintings and maybe some well i'll see maybe some smaller round brush maybe some flat brush we'll see what we'll need in the process so prepare your brushes prepare your paints there's salt of course water and 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 well i guess yeah i, I forgot to say maybe we will be using also white gouache i'm not really sure i'll see at the end if we're gonna need this one or not so if we are just keep that in mind and prepare it for yourself and that's it now we can get started and first thing we're gonna do is pre-wet our paper i've also added a little bit water to my paints to make them a little bit wet and yes of course i forgot to i will squeeze in oh. i will squeeze in my paints this is i'm not sure if i have another neutral black open whoops just be careful not to go into your i'm not sure if this is going to be enough but i'm gonna leave that for now and just a second i was just looking if i have another if I have another neutral black open, but I couldn't find it. So I'm going to open this one and a little bit further like this. So those are the paints we're going to use. I'm going to place it here. Maybe we'll need it later on. And as I said, first we wet the paper. I've sprayed some clean water and I'm, now I'm using a larger flat brush 
to spread my water. I want it on my entire paper. And well, maybe I should have done that. <laughs> maybe I should have made a sketch for my tree so that I know where the tree is going to be. So if you haven't used your water on your paper, maybe that is the thing you should do first. Just make a sketch for this tree trunk so you can avoid that part with uh, when we start using our crimson and like this and I'm gonna take a quite amount of that crimson oh, it's, um, maybe I should add I think I will add a little bit of I do need it to be a little bit darker. I'm just thinking what color should I add to that? Maybe this little bit of blue. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Naples yellow also. Hmm. Not really what I'm looking for. See, I'm also trying to create the colors I'm looking for. And okay, this is now okay. And we have the most color here and there. Just be careful if your colors are trying, starting to, if your paper is starting to dry, like it's happening to me right now just rewet it again and I do have here a little bit more of paint and a little bit more of leaves so that's fine and I'm gonna use again that mix I made and just see I'm just stopping in the color and some here not really everywhere just stopping in here and there like this I actually do like that color that I got I think maybe yours will be even better if you mix the red with some brown like this and some here and I'm gonna get a little bit of that black neutral black and while this is still wet I'm gonna spray it some here and there and it will mix in with our crimson and some, just a little bit tap it in again maybe I should just before starting to paint that is something you should maybe do just make your swatch of the colors you're gonna use see because right now I'm just trying to find my colors I'm trying to find the perfect colors for my painting and um just a second I'm just struggling you know a bit because I didn't swatch my colors I didn't I'll find the perfect this is Venetian red I'm gonna use Venetian red also so you know as I said I I did not try this paint oh I like that I think this will be just nice again just sprinkling some here and there and this is the problem when you don't switch your colors and you don't decide what are you gonna use exactly because then in, then you have issues that I'm having you're just 
while painting searching for your colors and don't do that <laughs> swatch your colors don't follow my example this one is a bad one and I'm just adding it here and there again on this it's mixing in with my crimson on paper and that is fine I do actually want that this is just dried a bit so I'm just again wetting it I don't want harsh harsh edges anywhere so this is it and I think this could be just fine just adding a little bit of that crimson again here and there just do hum, however how much ever you you like and you want to add which color and you know I know you're all bothered with the colors you're using I'm never bothered with the colors I'm just you know going along and just when I find that there is a color I should use I do use it I'm, I'm really never pre prepared when I start to paint this time I did see prepare the colors I'm gonna use and when I start to paint I just notice you know I'm missing this color I'm missing that color so I do add colors because sometimes I well I, I'm not I don't do any of my paintings before and I just do it on the side and when, I, when you do it on the side this is just what happens you know you just see oh I'm missing this color I'm missing that color and well that's all fine so that's the reason why I, I don't think you should bother yourself with colors but when you see some color missing on your paper you just add it that's a really matter of your preference and don't be really bothered with colors I'm just sprinkling some paint again here and there and this well this is still wet I think this will be enough for now and while this is still wet I will use my salt there it is and I'm gonna sprinkle it on those parts where the leaves are and since my paper started to dry a little bit this will just look very nice I don't have to wait for it to dry to remove those puddles you know I've talked earlier about those puddles and salt it doesn't work you have puddles of color and you know this is something that you should not really dry with your hair dryer because if you do dry with your hair dryer this won't turn out good and the salt won't do its thing so we do have to leave it to dry I'm adding quite amount of salt it just it won't be the same as this one but doesn't matter as a reference photo it doesn't have to be so there you go I've added quite amount of salt and now I have to dry that and well when it dries I will come back well I'm back and this is now completely dry I left it to dry about half an hour 40 minutes and see my coffee is almost gone and now that it's dry I will just spill off the excess salt and yours yours probably won't look the same because you know when you're using salt just you never can really predict the final result of that salt so it doesn't matter don't don't just look at my painting and think you oh, she it hers looks different and I you know just it's normal and salt will work differently because if there is less water if there is more water on your paper if there are some creases on the paper it will bleed into one side into other side but that's the 
that's the beautiful part i think that we all have we do the same thing but have the final result completely different and that is actually the well the best thing about using salt and i will now just take this off and there you go this now the excess salt is off and we can go to our next step and the next step would be to prevent slightly the paper again because you know we have some branches in the background that are a little bit blurred and we're gonna do those now and we're gonna also do some sprinkling to make also some leaves that will be blurred in the background so just be careful you don't have to use a lot of water just be careful not to you know overwork with water and start to lift up your paint just add a little bit of water and i'm gonna use a small round brush and i prepared while this was drying i prepared a little bit of paint and this is the mix of the that crimson and venetian red and this is just neutral black and i will add a little bit more of that mix into neutral black and make those branches and i know we haven't drawn actually our tree trunk but doesn't matter those branches are gonna go anyway just somewhere here there they don't even have to be the full branch just add a couple of them and they can be they can be you know cut off but we do need a little bit more pigment because as they're drying they're losing you know they're just disappearing <laughs> like this and I'm not gonna do a lot of them maybe some here and here you know you can just start even there you don't have to start from the tree you know because not all of them are completely visible like that i think this will be enough for the background and i will also use a little bit of that mix right now and just add a couple of sprinkles here and there it can go also here where there is no paint, it's fine. Just a couple of sprinkles here and there. And I'm sorry if you hear some noise, that's my computer running because I'm, you know, recording my voiceover. I had some troubles with my camera recording voiceover. For some reason it did not record the voiceover, so I've decided to do this directly on my mic see i'm not sure no i, I can't <laughs> i can't drag my mic inside i thought i could but i can't just it's here my mic here here there <laughs> so <clears throat> and this is it i will now dry this you know i'm seeing now that when we did some sprinkles, those branches did lose a bit of their shape. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that shape. Again, here and there. And there you go, I will dry this. Now we can use our hair dryer because you know there is no salt and it will all be fine. So this is now mostly dry and I'm gonna do some more sprinkles. I'm gonna mix that Venetian red into my crimson and do some more sprinkles. like this and now I'm gonna also use that Naples yellow I said I'll probably use and do a couple of sprinkles 
with that Naples yellow also. You could, if you want, you can do those sprinkles with Naples yellow or any other yellow you have before drying so that it mixes with your paint. But I did not want that. I just wanted to add it later on. So this is it. Now we can move on to our tree trunk. And you know, you don't have to have the same tree trunk as as I do on your at all or in your reference photo. When I'm looking this part where my tree trunk is going to be, I just see this wiggly part and I'm going to do it wiggly. I'm going to make it a little bit wiggly. Just keep in mind that it has to look as though we're looking from downwards. So it has to be the largest, the um, widest here and the thinnest up there. So just keep that in mind. And I will use a little bit of Naples yellow for my tree trunk. And you know, I've prepared here some blue. This is ultramarine. And I'm gonna mix in those two colors, just, just a little bit of blue, not really a lot to my Naples yellow. And I'm gonna do the that tree trunk. It's just, as I said, it's going to be thinner here and thicker downwards. like this and on this side I'm going to use a little bit more of ultramarine because it looks as though it's the part is in the shadow like this a little bit more ultramarine and I'm gonna you know, make it look as though there are some parts of it in the shadow. Like this. Like that. And I'm gonna get some neutral black and add it a bit here again and you see I'm not bothered with the fact that my my leaves are looking like they're going in a tree doesn't matter later on when we add some more branches and some more texture to the tree that will that will be fine it won't be so visible so this a little bit more of that blue I'm mixing into my bl neutral black and just adding a little bit of those shadows like that and I'm gonna use my mix of reds and also add it a little bit on the on that tree trunk and if you do have I did not want to use it because I know not many of you have it if you have masking fluid you could just mask your sketch your tree trunk and mask it before starting to to paint those uh, leaves because it will make it easier on you and right now you know to make it you know so it does you don't go into your tree and I'm gonna dry this oh. so this is now dry and I will use a dagger brush you can also use a round brush that is fine and I'm gonna take that blue ultramarine and some neutral black mix it in mix it in dry it slightly on my brush and I'm gonna just add you know this dry brushing technique to the 
right uh, left side of my tree and you know I'm, you ha I'm, gonna, I'm sorry oops and I'm gonna do it you know like this going in a circular motion here because I do want my tree to appear as it is round so don't do it in a straight line because if you do it in a straight line it will look like this is just some you know um how do you say round surface and it's not it's actually circular because you know the tree is circular so i'm doing like this you know up 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 and i have too much here so that is also fine just pick up some if you have an excess and here add that texture and i'm gonna add some darker here like this this is in shadow and i'm gonna i have this transition that i want so i'm just with the clean water i'm just you know going over and picking up the excess paint i have and that's it and i'm gonna use just a little bit of that black now dry it dry my brush and oops and add it just here and there on the top like this and i'm gonna again use this is i'm gonna use a script brush but you can use any detail brush and I'm gonna take that my mix of my reds and go into my black and just add a couple of lines again here and there with that mix you can of course as I said use a smaller round brush for this just here and there I'm not gonna go everywhere on the on the entire trunk just here and there and some dots like that and I did not add too much water to my tree just a little bit and now I'm gonna use again that smaller round brush and I'm gonna mix quite amount of my reds so Venetian red, some crimson, alizarin crimson, and some black. I do want enough pigment here. So this is my mix. Like that. And I'm gonna do some branches now. This one is going from the back of my tree, like this. And then we're gonna add some black on the bottom to make it also look as though it's in shadow. Again, this and i'm gonna do one larger i'm just looking at my reference photo one larger here going there and see my paint is still pretty transparent i don't really want that so i'm adding a little bit more pigment and just adding to that it's already wet from my from adding that earlier and I'm just again gonna go on the lower part and add a little bit black so it looks as though it's in the shadow like this and this one is just 
you know, looking as it's in the tree. So I'm gonna make some, you know, make it look as it's going into the tree and it's not just stuck to the tree. There you go. And again, we're gonna make one more. This one is beneath this one. It's going upwards. Like this. A little bit more paint. Like this. And this one is also has this you know, part where it's going into the tree and add some like this beneath, just smudge it a bit like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that black into it also to make it just a little bit darker. And here on this lower part, like this. And I'm just looking whether I'm going to add a bit more branches or not. I'm just think, still thinking there is just one here. Maybe I could do that one. And that one is just going from the side of the tree. So I'm going to do it as so it looks as it's going from the side like this. And we're going to take again some of that mix of those pigments. And this one is almost almost black. So I'm going to do it like that, just lifting up my hand to make it thinner at the end, like this. And I'm going to add a little bit of black into it again to make it look as it's that part of the branch is in shadow and just going from there like this smudging it a little bit and you know I'm gonna add a little bit of that red combo here also And this part is lighter. So that's it. I think I won't add any more branches. Maybe just I can see one here. And this one will make a little bit less pigmented. Like this. Not so dark like this and this one is somewhere here going into a tree just smudge it again and this part is smudged a bit and it should be a little bit darker and I think that's it maybe 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 that's it just add a little bit more black. I've lost it now. Here. There you go. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that mix of blue and ultramarine and Naples yellow on this side. Also, just a little bit more of the yellow making it look like there are some, you know, that the tree is round on that side also. 
it looks flat to me so I'm add, gonna add you know like this circular on this side also and a little bit of that mix some here and there and that's it just you know fixing some of my branches and add a little bit more of that just go in a circular you know like this because you know if you go as I said earlier in a straight line you won't get the feeling that the tree is round and I think that should be it just maybe this one a little bit more here and there just add so it doesn't look this it also doesn't look flat like this and I'm gonna add some more splatters of course and on the tree and around my painting here and there just some darker splatters those are the mix of the colors two reds of mine and that neutral black because now that I've done with my tree trunk it just looks a too dark for the rest of the painting so I want to add a little bit more of that dark splatters so it looks like it's it is meant to be together I'm gonna use a little bit larger brush also for those platters because you know I want some to be a bit more larger some splatters so I do want to use a bit larger brush for those because you know if you have used a smaller brush the sprinkles will be smaller it I've sprinkled myself my this is actually my my painting my painting uh, uh, shirt so I'm not really bothered with the fact that I've well ruined it with paint so I just want to add a couple of more here in the lower parts like this darker ones also and I'm sprinkling all over myself I have to just move a little bit from the painting you know I really am gonna I'm sprinkling myself in my eyes I like that and you can do as, as many splatters as you like if your upper part if your part where your leaves are, are is already dark you don't have to do this sprinkling but if not there you go I don't think maybe just a couple of those see it just won't release the paint from the brush this larger and that's it nothing more really nothing more really nothing more really just just some black here in those parts where my the 
branches go into the tree. And I think that's it. I don't think maybe just I've, I've reused all my laser and crimson. I'm gonna add just a little bit here. And again, mix it with that black of mine. And I'm gonna use a little bit more Venetian red. Venetian red and a little bit more of that black. And I'm going to do just one more thing because I do see I missed that. Trying to go as less as possible into my paint. So I do need quite a amount of water for this. As I said, I want to add some darker parts and those now when I sprinkled it I'm just gonna smudge it with my brush and just maybe where I see that it's going it's becoming one wash. I'm just gonna, you know, pick up with my tissue. And I think right now this is just enough. I'm gonna dry it and see if there is something else I think I should add or do. Okay, now that now that this is dry, I see that it's those sprinkles of mine have been a little bit smudged due to adding that color and oh and I want to add a little bit more of them now because I don't I do want to look not to look it so smudged so in those parts where I added darker color I'm not out adding some more splatters And now really is it. Now really is it. <laughs> See, I'm all also splashed from the color and my shirt doesn't matter. So I'm gonna remove the tape. And well, I hope you enjoyed this video, you like it, and maybe you decided to try this one also. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment box. Uh, comment box. And well, I would be glad to answer. If you have any ideas, just tell me which, which, what would you like to see in, the, in my future videos. And if you want some See, at the end, I did not use that white wash. Well, maybe I could do that. You know, I did move, I did move the, but it doesn't matter. I, and well, as I was saying, if you like this video, please hit the like. And if you, and please comment, share it. You know, I'm gonna. <laughs> Add a couple of those whites that really do. It really makes a lot of difference, I think. I, I like it. It just gives that a little bit of highlights. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm not really sure, but I think if you're not if you don't hit the notification bell, it won't uh, my videos won't appear in your in your subscriptions. So you have to you have to click the notification bell to make sure you see <clears throat> that I've uploaded a new video to be notified. And well, without further ado, 
I hope I'll see you next time. I hope you will have fun painting this one. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sprinkling. I know you like that. Who, who wouldn't like that? And well, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.